Hey, it's me again. Today I will be unpackaging this thing that I got from Sports Jack. A little back history about this. Uh, so my brother, my sister and I, we were planning a trip to go to Peru some time ago. And I don't know if it's happening still, so I'll let you know about that later on. But since then, I've been looking for bags to buy and for my brother and my sister as well. And some of the research told me about the Osprey bags are pretty good. So it was between Osprey Porter, 40, and then Osprey Farpoint, 40 or 55, and Osprey Fairview, 40 and 55. Now, at the beginning, I was like looking out for sales because I didn't want to buy it at full price. I'm always on the hunt for sale to make sure that I got a good deal when I buy things. So I did get something um, from Sports Check a few weeks back, and it was the Osprey Fairview 55. Now, the Fairview 55, the main difference between the 55 and the 40 is that for the Fairview was that the 55, it has an additional 15 liter day bag, day pack bag. So it's a 40 liter bag plus a 15 liter day pack bag, which is nice because uh, if it doesn't fit into the carry on thing, you can just give the 40 liter bag for them to fly it away. I don't know where that goes. And the 15 liter, you can take it as a carry-on which has all the electronic stuff in it so I wasn't really comfortable using it so I used it once just to see how it was how it fit and I found it too big on me so then I went to sports check and I got a Fairview 40 from them now the difference between a far point 40 and a Fairview 40 is that the Fairview 40 is more fit for women to use like regarding the hip area so it's like more structural more balanced and whatnot so today I'm gonna unpack this and make sure that it actually fits me well and hopefully I like it more than the 55. So I'm gonna get my handy scissors here because you know if I have to return it I don't want to give them another package to return it in. I'll just return them in the same package. Okay. And I was looking for this color too because hey so there was like this forest green color which I didn't I liked it after a while I was looking at it. The first few times that I looked at it, it was too forestry for me and I didn't want to blend in with the green that I was gonna go see anyways. And I was debating between the red color and the black. I think it was misty gray, it wasn't really black. Uh, but my brother wanted the red, so I let him have the red and then I finally got the color that I want. Wow, it's actually pretty small and compact, which is nice. So, I'm gonna remove this plastic as well. Okay, I should have used scissors, but I was too eager because I love the color. Okay, so it has a hint of green in it, but, huh, is this the color that I got? Oh yes it is, okay, so it is misty gray. For a second I was like, am I seeing too much green in this? Okay, so this is the color that I did want. Um, so. In another video that I'll be posting eventually, would, uh, I'm gonna pack this video because I saw that there's not a lot of videos where people are packing stuff and I wanted to show the viewers how many stuff that, or how much stuff that you can actually pack in this, uh, which I will be showing with another video. But anyway, so I got a small slash medium because the previous one that I got was extra small slash small and I wanted to know if small slash medium would fit me better than an extra small slash small. So, I wanted to show you guys this. So, at the top here, this part, it's the one after you pack. It's like a compressor, so like you can compress all your stuff here. You have two water bottle components. Now, the difference between the 55 and the 40 was that this part right here was removable. So, that was the 15 liter part of it. All your electronics, everything fit into that 15 liter. So. What I really wanted to show was the inside of this bag, which I really love. So for hiking bags, usually it only opens at the top and then you have to pack it in. This one, like that was like one of my biggest thing that I wanted because I wanted something that opens all the way. And look, it does. And you can pack things right here, which was so nice. And given, I love this color. Uh, the red color was nice, it was like a lime green to it, very flashy, I like that as well. But this one also, it's amazing color. Now, another thing I do love about the 40 versus the 55 is that the 40 
has this like, little duffel bag kind of feel to it because of this handle. The 55 didn't have it. I'm guessing it's because it's a bigger bag, so people don't usually have it. And this is guaranteed to be a carry-on bag. So you can definitely take this as a carry-on. And obviously with all the electronic part in it, you would fit into the first component. Okay, not this. I lie. Oh, it's right here. I missed that part. So here is where all your electronics would be fitting in. Which I love this color again. Oh my. That's where your laptop goes. And it has padding. Um, I wish I could show you my 55. I returned it so I could get this. But the 55 didn't have that much padding inside. pretty nice I mean I can't wait to pack this and see how it feels once I pack everything but I might have to tighten this more so I think how they do it I'll do a little more research on it before I say this but I think how they do it is you adjust this part first then you put the chest strap on and then you put the last one hip some people do the hip first because uh, when your bag is heavy you want your weight like you don't want it all on your back first you want to start with the hip holding it everything together so that's how you would start it. Um, yeah, so overall, right now, as of now, I actually like this bag. Uh, I love the color. That's my favorite thing right now. I know it's not. that's not what I wanted in this bag, but some of the things I did want in this bag was the water bottle compartment for sure. And the fact that it packs um, opening this way instead of like top to bottom. And also another thing was the carry-on size. I really wanted to be carry-on because if I'm doing hiking trips or if I'm going to a place where it's only like five days or something, I don't want to be carrying on a whole suitcase. Like if I'm coming back with tour stuff, I'll have another whole bag for that because I know I'm going to be <laughs> getting a lot of things. But for the main reason, I just wanted a small com compact bag and I want to be able to travel with just one bag because What's the best way to travel? By foot. That's what, well, in my opinion. So yeah, and I think so far I'm happy with this bag. Um, I can actually show you guys. This is actually amazing. It's like a little side bag. I mean, it's going to be much heavier when I pack the whole thing, but hey, right now it looks great. Well, thank you guys for watching my video. Uh, please subscribe if you guys haven't already. And yeah, wait for more videos later.